Hello everyone, today I'm going to be introducing a game called Craftopia. I only heard about it recently, but it will be entering early access in June. From the name, I'm sure you can guess that it is a game about crafting. But that is not all. It mixes elements from crafting, hack and slash, automation, survival, farming, and a variety of others all into one game. Crafting, of course, is going to be the core of the game. You can collect and combine resources to craft more than a thousand different items. The items can also be combined with an enchantment system. In addition, items seem to be categorized into three different eras. The Primitive Era, the Draconic Era, and the Celestial Era. From hearing this, you are most likely only going to be able to craft simple items at first. But as you make progress, you will gradually get access to more and more advanced items. In the trailer, I've seen players riding on hoverboards, gliding through the sky, creating cannons to shoot enemies, and flying in a plane, so there seems to be quite a number of unique items to look forward to. A big part of this game that has me interested is the farming. I was always a fan of games like Bokujo Monogatari and Rune Factory, so I look forward to seeing what this game has to offer. From what we know currently, you can grow a variety of crops, sell them at the market, and run your own farm. A unique thing about Craftopia is that it's possible to make automated robots to help with your farm work. Outside of farm work itself, if gathering resources in the world becomes too much of a chore, it is also possible to automize everything with robots to forage for you. Apart from crafting and farming, exploration seems to be another key part of this game. There are a large variety of biomes such as islands, mountains, rainforests, archipelagos, swamps, large holes, and floating islands to explore. There are also dungeons you can enter from the world where you can fight bosses to get treasure. There are also RPG elements present. You can level up your character and use a skill tree to learn a variety of skills such as arts, magic, and exploration. From the trailer, I've also seen players using a wide variety of weapons and performing bow attacks reminiscent of Breath of the Wild. So there looks to be a variety of ways to participate in combat as well. And most importantly, there's going to be multiplayer support, so it will be possible to play with your friends. While we don't have much information on this game yet, I think it will be interesting to see how well the different elements of the game are blended together. With the early access right around the corner, I'm planning on keeping my eye on it. 